So this is where we are, Montserrat. But there is a chateau here, a few little shops and a campsite actually that we we're going to have a quick look at. Um, trying to figure out where we are. Go down here somewhere because there's the campsite and there's the air which is just there. We just walked, just walked into a campsite in Montserrat and I just wanted to have a look because we were put off this by some reviews that we'd read but looking at it it looks actually a bit better than the site we were on, a bit more us. Which is by the river. It's quite well kept. Put a name of the campsite just below where I'm talking. Pull one up there. See, I think some say it's like little. I see what you mean. I mean, there are British fans here, but what the hell? Yeah. So there's a site there, Camping de Ilierde, and down there is the little town where we just walked from. So the two sites, the one we're staying on and the one we just walked around. We think the one we walked around was uh, much more our cup of tea. Now one of the re reviews we did read was that it was said it's like, it's like little England there, a lot of British, British tourists there. Which, I mean there were, but that's not actually a bad thing, is it, necessarily? And you've got a little walk into quite a nice little town, a few bars, whereas the uh, flower site we were on is a bit more commercialised and family orientated. That's what you get the last minute booking <laughs> and reading reviews because you don't know who's written the review, do you? Obviously. Scruffy uncle. Yeah, the site we're on is a bit scruffy. I'll show you around it anyway. Chateau. Lovely little streets here. Quite a quaint little place. Right, so I'll give you a little wander around the site. Uh, this is a flower site. Now, flower sites, they seem to be trying to become the haven of France, uh, which is a shame because they've uh, taken over a couple of sites that we've been to now, and for us, they haven't made them any better. Anyway, uh, there's the river. Well, sort of the river, it's like a... So this is like on an island around the river and that's part of the Loire, although it's not the best part, it's a bit... Well, anyway, um, we're down behind me there. There's some play areas there. There's lots of statics around. So this is really a family site. Um, so us as a couple, um, not ideal, but it's not bad. Uh, not a bad site. So on your right there is the bar. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of things going on over here, like they've got, they have stalls just to the left. Um, lots of stuff here for kids. A shower block right in front of me. Showers are okay, although like a lot of these sites, they could do with being a bit cleaner. Or have people that actually professionally clean. Rather than just use giggly girls to do it.
So here's the pool, not the biggest, but decent bar there. Uh, not been in it myself. A kids' play area, inflatables around. We had difficulty getting on this site. Um, twin axle, the old, the old scourge of the twin axle. Now on their website they say nothing, but apparently if you ring up, they don't allow twin axles. Now I asked why, and they said it was because of the size. When we at, they actually gave us a pitch. Uh, we were next door to a British twin axle. We spoke to him, and he said we never had a problem. And I think it's because when we arrived. We said we need a reasonable size pitch because we have a twin axle. And as soon as that said that, I was like, whoa, no, no, no twin axles. I've got to ring the manager. So ring who you want, mate. I've got a YouTube channel. <laughs> Actually, I did, for the first time ever, I did say that because um, I said to him, well, if you explain to me why you won't let twin axles on, I will tell my subscribers why they shouldn't come here with twin axles. Um, they just said it was the size. To be honest, they were just um, people on reception. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't great. I tell you, we, we were extremely stressed because you know we'd driven 400 miles to get here, and for the, it doesn't say anything on the website. Why? Well, I don't understand this. A lot of French sites are like well, a lot. I won't say a lot. Some French sites are like this. They won't. They don't want to in axles. But they won't say on their website that they can't bring twin axles. And it'd be a very easy thing to do, wouldn't it? So, I don't know. So that's reception behind me. There, that's where you'd check in. There's a chateau. And here is a, an air for you motorhome boys and girls. It seems to be reasonably well used, but there are often spaces. You can't stay more than 21 days. Why would you? Would you why would you want to? Uh, you know. So this is where you drive in. Uh, sport, little sports centre there. Chateau reception. Access is easy enough, if I'm honest. There's no difficulty getting in. This is where you drive in. Reception up there. And that person thinks I'm all here though. Uh, maybe bike hire, 10 euros a day. 10 euros half a day, 15 euros for a day. Again, if you've got a motor home, you need to get into town. The town is proper, well, I'm told it's about 20, 25 minute walk, five minute drive. So I just took you to the swimming pool area, which is on the left. Now down this hill is where we are pitched. A view of the river there. As I say, it's not, you know, the actual Loire. I think it's, the Loire is much wider, but it is. But this, we, we're on an island here, so surrounded by the river. Bins there motorhome service point there, that's where we've been getting our water from. There we are there, pitch 13, unlucky for some. This goes into the, like, the main part of the site and some people have said it's uh, a bit cramped. Totally blocked to my left. It's not the best, but usable. A fair amount of British here. See, these pitches here are a bit small.
don't allow twin axles for the size of that motorhome in front. <laughs> it's not to do with size, is it? Three toilet blocks on site. Back now up towards our caravan. It's early in the morning, so I'm talking quietly. Overall, not a bad site, but I mean, good for families, not great for us, to be honest. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little tour. See you in the next one. Quality caravan vlogging. Down, 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 down,